I'm doing this for y'all. I just hope y'all know that. I'm doing this for y'all. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Connor, and today I'm reacting to Madam Web. I, I've heard a few things about this movie. Personally, I've never seen it. I didn't bother to go see it in the movie theater whenever it was coming out. Um, I would have went and saw it if it had better reviews, but to be fair... Everything I've seen about this movie so far has been against my will, and it was only hate. It wasn't scenes or anything. It was just saying this movie was absolute dog shite. So I am just curious on if I'm going to think this movie is really as bad as people say. I only say that because I really enjoyed Birds of Prey which is a really good movie. I enjoyed the Marvels. I think for what it was, it was a good movie. I enjoy, I enjoyed movies like that. So I, um, but I don't, but I think a lot of the hate for those movies come from the way the writers write the characters and also misogyny. I don't think the, the, the misogyny is the problem here. I think, I think people just think the movie's crap. Um, but I'm going to be the judge of that because I am a very known nerd, geek, DC, Marvel characters. I know Madam Web, um, Sydney Sweeney's in this movie. Um, that's really all I know. I know Madam Web is a telepath, uh, psychic kind of power uh, powers where she can like um, see the future, I believe. She see the future. I know in the comics and in the animated shows and stuff, she's blind. She's older, so I think this movie also takes place in the past. One second while I just, like, wipe off my lens for my camera because I didn't realize how foggy, not foggy, how, um, where is my thing? Oh, here it is. I didn't realize it was so dusty. You might not be able to see it on the camera. Okay. But it was, it was bothering me. I saw, like, a piece of dust right in the middle, and then I looked, and it was, like, all dusty. Um, ignore my hair mess. I am getting it done soon. Um, I'm not gonna say exactly what I'm getting done to it, but it will be very different. So, wish me luck. Um, but yeah, I am honestly just ready to get into this, epi this episode, this movie. I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm gonna like it, and people are gonna judge me, or I'm scared I'm gonna hate it so much, I'm gonna end up turning it off. I don't think I'm gonna turn it off, but you know what I mean. Um... But yeah, I think I'm just going to get into this movie. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, comment down below. Check out my Patreon for the full uncut reaction, the full movie instead of just, you know, clips, obviously. Um, and my membership tab for early release content. I'm drinking me a nice um, coffee. And let's get into it. Wish me luck. If they put this out and they scrap Batwoman, um, Batgirl, I know, like, different companies and stuff, but I just, it can't be too bad if they actually, if they actually put it in the movie theater. Can it be that bad? It probably can. And that's why it scares me, because I just want to know what they put out into this world. They're like, you know what? Amazing. Marvel has shit like Endgame and then Madam Web. That's what's crazy to me. But I mean, you win some, you lose some. But I'm not going to judge it before, so I'm going into this. I will go into this because I went into other things knowing people hated it and I loved it. So I know how to judge things appropriately. 1973. Oh, so it does take place in the past. Unless it's like a... Unless this isn't our characters, obviously. Yeah, that's not Dakota Johnson. <laughs> Is that her name? Dakota Johnson, Fifty Shades of Grey Girl. Movies I've never seen. I'm about to start reacting to a bunch more movies, though, cause, so stay tuned for that, I guess. Oh, so it's a pow- it's a spider, like- I mean, like- So it's mythical, okay, it's supposed to be like, is it a radiation spider, like Spider-Man? Oh. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Honestly, I don't want to be mean already, but their acting seems very. Girl. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? No. I'm assuming that's Madam Webb's mother, and that's she's in the womb. Perhaps you should rest. What? A, okay, you think she's gonna get bit while she's pregnant? And then that's how Madame Webb gets her powers. 
or is he, I don't know, or is he gonna find, no, because she's looking for at it, I don't know, I don't know, their acting just seems a little uh, bland, but I could be wrong, I am not an acting connoisseur, like, I don't know acting like that, so if, if I'm wrong, correct me. I am always up for constructive criticism and things like that. <laughs> or is she stealing her research? Oh, good job, girl. Incredible, isn't it? So it's so small. So much power. You did not just shoot the pregnant woman. Did you shoot her in the stomach? A bunch of spider just gonna come and like bite her and she's gonna like they're gonna like bring her to safety and like give her powers or some shit. Or is she gonna give birth right here? My goodness, hello. Who are you? The spider people? Oh my god. That's how Edward ran in Twilight. Oh my god, is that his ass? Not spider person ass. This is. Oh. Healing water? Oh. Okay, so yeah, these are the magical spiders and probably gave the daughter powers. Okay, and this is her. Oh. That was Okay, 2003. So you're was born. Blockbuster. I could never drive an ambulance. Can we talk about that? I, I'm so scared of like this kind of situation because I feel like I would have crashed into everything. Imagine traffic and driving, but you have to be reckless and you have to just drive through people. I wonder what her name is. Exactly. Are you going to say it? It's May, probably. May Parker. Maybe. Well, it's May Parker now, but you know what I mean. Are they really doing that to not give the name just because they want to be anonymous? Okay, so you do know who your mom is, at least. You have pictures of her. Question. I thought Madam Web, I thought she was a mutant, like X-Men type mutant, but this is like she's getting her powers from that spider, that's what I want to know. If they're changing it up, or if it's just coincidence, or if they're doing it like Miss Marvel, where like her, um, her bangles activated her mutant gene, maybe the spider activated her mutant gene, in a way, possibly. Because her powers are different than, her powers were different, are different than the other people and the people that got powers from those spiders, so. This is actually the fight between Spider-Man and Doc Ock. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is 2003. That means Spider-Man wasn't even born yet? 2003 and Ben just met May? Okay, May. I'm thinking, because it's uncle and... Okay. See, I couldn't do a job like this. This would give me such bad anxiety that any day could be my last day. I'm not doing that for a paycheck. I know people do it for, like, moral sake and, like, to be good people, but not me. Okay, so she's going 
back in time. I would just think I have a really bad concussion or lost oxygen to my brain from the water. A real workup at a real hospital. See, she predicted the future. That's what they said whenever she was underneath. I trust you. Oh, it happened again. A real workup at a real hospital with a real doctor. Seriously, Ben, dial it back. I'm fine. Opera sounds really cool. Like, it's really cool how they can get their voices like that, but I don't think I could sit through an opera um, show. Because I feel like it would give me anxiety. Hearing opera somehow raises my heartbeat. Like, the loud noises stress me out. Like, it overstimulates me. I gotta live with the canoodle. Where's my spider? They took my spider. Hello? Oh, it's her. Where's my spider? They took my spider. He just sounds... If I'm being honest, this dude just has very bland vocal, like, um... Who's that? Oh. Okay, hey, ma'am. Very... Sydney, okay. Bland vocal, um... What's the word? Wait, no. His voice did not match up just now to what he was saying. Because I watch people's mouths whenever I watch, like, I just watch because I like to read lips when I, like, hear things as well. Look at his mouth. But I have no idea of the torment and torture and dying over and over again. I can't escape it. That had nothing of what he was saying. Okay, I'm starting to get some of the issues with this movie. I, I it's, it's this dude. So far, it's this man. Sorry to whoever this actor is. Like, they must have just given you some shit. Like, shitty, like... They set you up for failure. But the way he gives the lines are also very bland. But it could just be, like, how they... Because, obviously, like, he has, there's directors and stuff they have to go through. It's not just, like, okay, you're put here. Do whatever you want. It's, he's just doing voiceovers. Like, is it supposed to be he's talking in his head? Because these are obvious voiceovers. They're not, like, saying it out loud. You must have at least one fond memory of your mother. Um, well, my mother actually died uh, in childbirth. Oh, well, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't, I, I mean... Uh, this is so awkward, but, like, at the same time, you know... They brought that up upon themselves. Totally healthy. Death and childbirth is super rare. I mean, she chose to be like way deep in the Amazon for the last month of her pregnancy. Will you just let me drive? Well, she had a bad experience on the job. I don't think that's what's happening. Don't let it mess with your head. Oh, he's like gonna die. Damn. <gasps> Wait, O'Neal, that's O'Neal! I just realized who that was! Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized who that was. Go, go back in time. Now, but in the future, they have powers. That's not what he's saying! I can't tell nothing less than nothing. I will not give up everything I've built and have my life done. This is driving me crazy. I'm sorry. The movie itself isn't that bad so far, but that is not what he's saying. This man specifically, none of the words that are coming, that are being spoken are not coming out of his mouth. It's like... Hey, everybody. Like, that's what it looks like. It's like, but it's actually like, yeah, the political and economical state of the country is actually, but it's literally like, it. 
driving me crazy. That's actually like this character is driving me crazy. I keep getting scared. Oh, you see him coming. I mean, yeah, that looks like an emergency. Oh my god, okay, so she's smart. Bear, a bunch of shit. See, this is him talking. I always wanted to be a Girl Scout. Of course you did. Anybody else starving? All I have is guns. Here, I found this in the glove compartment. What is it? Wait, that bag's already been open. We don't know how long it's been in there. Okay, I hope you're good at um catching squirrels. Oh. Okay, so. So she's like a goody goody Sydney's character. You guys, this is so freaky. Who are you? What is going on? See, okay. This is where I'm thinking it's literally just the director, like, or, like, the lines or something. Because Sydney Sweeney, in my opinion, is a very good actress. I've seen her in Euphoria. She's really good at playing characters that don't know what's going on. She's really good at that. And I think she's actually a good actress. I think a lot of these people are good actresses and stuff. And actors and actresses, they're just given like weird, really shitty scripts or something. Like, it's like to a point where it's like, like comical, but like, they obviously are more capable of like more than what they're showing them to be. Like, they're like, Sydney Sweeties literally was just like, then who are you? But like, she was supposed to be serious. Like, it, it was like a very non-actor like thing and like the other guy literally all of his lines sound like they're recorded in just a studio and um not like him talking but that's exactly i think what's happening the reason why it sounds so bland and like he's delivering the lines so like literally if i would describe it as anything i would say it's a sweet cream flavored ice cream that doesn't even have vanilla extract in it like it is i used to work at ice cream shop so um, but like it was no flavor to it. like there was no emotion, but it's because I think he's literally like over here with a mic and he's like Oh, no, why are you doing this? Oh, no. Oh my god get away from me. I am almost dying. No, I'm falling off a cliff like I think they like literally they it's like he's recording it at three o'clock in the morning and it's like a in a little studio like with no emotions behind it with no like character emotions of like what's supposed to be happening in the script and i feel like that's not his fault i feel like it's none of these actors faults that the movie did bad i feel like it's literally people that made the movie and like early put the movie together that's the reason why it's done poorly and why it did poorly and i think that's a very valid criticism to have because it does seem like it's going very poorly when it comes to like the way they're delivering lines and the way this and this but you can't really blame it on the actors if all of them are doing bad when then we know they have good roles like i know sydney sweeney from euphoria and i know her, she was in something else too um the other girl she was in 
the movie about the adopted kids. I know you know what I'm talking about. I don't know the girl with the skateboard. I don't think I've seen her actress. And I know Dakota Johnson. Um, and, like, I know she is an established actress. But all these people, just some like, their voices are just, like, they don't have emotions behind their words. And I feel like that's, like... The most is Dakota, I think, we've had emotions from whenever she was, like... Honestly, the most emotions we had is that one lady, like, in one of the flashbacks with the screen that she was, like, oh, my God, with the gray hair. And she was, like, are you okay? Like, that lady, whenever they were going through the flashbacks or whatever, or, like, feature, or whatever it's called. I don't even know if it's feature flashbacks or whatever they would like to call it. But she, I think, had the most emotion out of anyone. So that's what I'm saying. It's, like, these are established actors, actors, and they're just given poor direction of, like, their character. Like, they can only do so much as an actor. Like, I'm just imagining, like, if, like, Zendaya, or, like, I'm trying to say if, like, someone, like, with very good acting skills was the, put in here, like, um... Like, Angela Bassett, for example. I just want to see, like, how she would be in this movie. She has an amazing act actor abilities, actress abilities. Like, she literally is a, such a talented actress. I just want to see if they put her in here, how, like... <laughs> if they can make her seem bland with her line delivery, because that would be crazy. Um, <coughs> oh my god. But, uh, let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Okay, then. Actually, I don't like that. I'm just gonna charge my light for a bit. I'll be back. Sorry, I didn't expect my light out of all things to die on me. Okay, so everything is charged, and now I'm getting back into the movie. <sighs> Let's see what is... what they're gonna do. <laughs> just stay here. Don't do anything dumb. Yes, ma'am. To be fair, I would also be stressing out. Oh, okay. I believe you. I'm gonna feel like I could fight back if I needed to. I actually believe her. <gasps> Be nice to her. Y'all literally are all in the same situation. I don't know why y'all are taking out your anger on each other when there's someone trying to kill y'all. It just seems like you're putting your... Well, pretty much everything... Into the wrong... Jumakots. I wonder if she's gonna show to have any other powers besides just the future and past, like, visions. Oh yeah, cause she's looking for about the, the spider stuff. Does the cat not even have a name? You just, it's caught cat? That would be fun to call your cat cat with like a K, you know? <laughs> Yes. Okay, so that's not what you have, but that's what they have. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. You could climb a wall if you ever tried. Are you gonna try and climb a wall? I don't I don't think you have spider powers, Miss Madam Webb. I think you have something completely different. Plus, you probably can't do it in those shoes. Okay, let's not mention that to anybody. Right, so, diner? Spend you probably shouldn't leave, but... I'm going to order everything on the menu. Okay, so that's why she's like that, because she doesn't really have parents, like, around, and, like, she doesn't really have consequences to her actions. Does her shirt say, uh, eat math for breakfast? Oh, wait, she is smart. She's super smart. I was like, well, that's such a random shirt. But she's just, like, mentioned, like, a lot of science stuff and, like, stuff. So she... Oh. You are making the right decision, Julia. You will not like me when I'm angry. Who says we like you now? Oh. When are we <laughs> They're really gonna get lost in this, in this woods. And this man is gonna find them. Okay, they found the diner. You'd be shocked with the cameras and stuff they have. But they don't know anything about cameras like that, like, too much. Like, all this, like, high-tech stuff, because it is 2003, and they don't have, like, the advanced technology at this point. At least, known. Are you gonna, like, follow their footsteps? <laughs> Here's a mess right now. 
my hair's always a mess right now. <laughs> it needs to be cut and dyed and everything. Okay, so she at least found this diner. I'm so sorry. Watch out! He's literally right there. Oh. I mean, it's like, this is a cool looking scene. I can, um, oh, he is walking on the walls. He's about to snap her neck. Oh no, he's poisoning her. Oh, and that's how she knew, weirdly, that's how she knew they were at the diner, like, it's weird, like, you can, like, kind of figure this all out. That's, like, that's a cool, like, thing to think about. She was gonna go there, but she didn't know she was gonna go there. This track is gonna be huge. Yes, yes it is. The lips are on the your toxic comes apart And the taste of the voice sound very light I'm addicted to you Don't you know that you're toxic? Oh! Okay! Your skateboard! They really just crashed right into a diner. That goes crazy. I hope they have insurance. Well, they do. It's probably it's a diner. They probably do, but still. I don't think they're gonna fly back from China to deal with this, and I really hope to find out. So I'm on my own. That's actually very sad. They don't really have parents in their lives. Well, the other girl does though. Her dad was there, I think, at least. My dad got deported six months ago. Oh. Home from and he was gone. Oh, never mind. Wait, are you living by yourself? Oh, wait, oh my god, that's actually very sad. That's why you don't have... Don't need anyone else to look out for them. That's why you don't have the rent. And I don't have a car for me either. I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, unless she discovers that she has other abilities besides the future, like, sense, then... I don't think she's leaving them. I think she's going to figure out what she could do. Waiting here isn't going to do anything. But if I was the girls, I would be not be able to sleep. I would be like cautious the entire time. They will destroy me and everything I feel. I can't even tell if he's actually supposed to be talking right now because that's how he does. He talks the entire time with no vo no mouth moving, just voice. That poor man that lost his vehicle. Oh, no, it's not fixed. That lost his taxi. That was his income. <laughs> the poor thing. Right? Like, man literally lost his income. Is she gonna find them or, or are there gonna be like the spider people that like climb and come to them? Literally every <laughs> It has to go back to your beginning. And keep going past that. There are powers you don't even know you're capable of. Mm. Your thread did not start when you were born. Started before? Oh, so she's gonna see that her mother did care about her. The spider healed her. So she went there for a cure for the baby, so she's gonna realize her mother did care about her. 
you were. Yeah. You have a lot. You have power. Like, you you have powers. You just need to learn how to use them. Instead of just being randomized. We need Madam Web out here. ASAP. What is she gonna hit with the car? Oh! Okay, what's gonna blow up instead? Get that woman to the hospital to go deliver Peter. Oh my god. The, they wouldn't name the baby. Remember, they wouldn't say what the baby's name was. It was Peter. The baby's name was Peter. That's hilarious. I didn't even think about that. Literally, it all makes sense now. The baby's name was Peter. As in Peter Parker. Okay. Yeah, literally. No, she didn't. We got like, oh, my camera battery's gonna die before this movie's over, I swear. Oh. Okay, good. It's about to blow up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Oh! Okay, ma'am. Okay. Peak reflex is here. This is for sure spider sense, but advanced, heavily advanced. Be in more places, more than one place at a time. Oh, damn. Oh, and that's how that, oh, is it gonna hit the helicopter? Oh, that's not good at all. And she's getting poisoned, probably. I hope they ended up they end up killing him, but earlier. Oh. Oh wait, that was actually very cool. How did you do that? And these are all like their ability, like what they use. Remember, he she throws stuff. The other one has like, um, Maddie has like the tech, like the metal and stuff. Powers, be in more than one place at a time. And this is all the different possibilities of what she could have done, but she can do all at one time. You change it, you're gonna die earlier. Did he die? Oh, and that's gonna, that's literally gonna kill him. He died by the pee. Oh, oh yeah, he's dead. At least I think he is. Girl, 
she starts the movie in the water pretty much like in the first like half hour and now she's in the water again this is the second time she's been launched into this water. and now actually she was born in the water too and she was thrown in the water oh shit wait who's getting her is that anya she got hit in the face Or is that her, is that Cassie? No, is that, um, which girl is that her mother? Who is that? <laughs> oh wait, no, that was, that was, um, that was Sydney Sweetie. She just took her glasses off and stuff. I literally didn't recognize her. And now they know how to use that. That's why it came in handy. Good. She got hit in the face. Is she blind now? She's blind now. That's why she's like Madam Web. She's blind. But she has future vision and so she can still see. She just has a different type of sense. A different sight. Oh, Ben. And she could see the future. Yeah. And she could see the future. That's crazy. That's what he thinks. Crazy. How does Peter Parker's mom die, Mary? She does die, right? Like, I know she's not like in Peter's life, but... Mm, that's sweet. Oh, she is in a wheelchair. And blind. But she still can see. Cause she's looking like she's you know does she really take them in you left your junk mail downstairs again and we got take out or did i know how chicken is perfect how'd you know she knows everything <laughs> that's actually really funny All powerful, probably. I wonder, do they get the spider powers or what? I actually would watch that. Discovering you are always more powerful than you thought. Nothing I didn't already know. <laughs> very, very fun. Very interesting. The camera battery literally died last second, like, Loki kind of mad about that, like, it could have gave me, like, an extra minute or two, rude, but that's okay, because it at least ended, it ended, like, I'd say on a good note, like, as y'all could see, y'all saw it, like, at the exact end, right, as it, like, died, it, um, showed all of them in their costumes all together, including Madam Web. And I actually find that very interesting because um, we're probably never going to get like a sequel to this. I'm being completely honest. Um, but if I'm being honest, I think the movie wasn't as bad as people said it was. I think it didn't really have that much of like that strong of like a direction of how they needed to go and that kind of stuff. But honestly, the worst to me is how they were written like they're like tone of voice and stuff like they were very bland and they didn't really have much emotion in their words and their voice and their lines that they basically delivered and the worst thing about this movie in my opinion was the villain ezekiel we still didn't really get much motive from him besides which is being selfish his voice was very bland and the line delivery was not good um it was literally voiced over the entire movie like i don't even know if he spoke three words of real words that would mouth properly it was literally like like pretend i'm saying i'm singing happy birthday but this is what mouth's doing But happy birthday is somehow coming out and like all this stuff and it's like it sounds like it was in a studio like literally what it sounds like. like i don't even know how to explain it without like doing a voiceover and i don't feel like i'm too lazy for that um but overall i don't think it was the worst movie in the world um i've seen worse i've definitely seen better um it definitely wasn't as good as birds of prey or the marvels but i don't think it was as bad as morbius i think this movie was not as bad as morbius 
uh, Morbius was worse in my opinion. So, um, and honestly, it at least keep me kept me entertained. It kept me entertained more than Black Adam. If I'm comparing it to superhero movies, Morbius and Black Adam, two movies that kept me entertained way less than this one. But yeah, overall, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Check out my Patreon for full uncut reactions, early release reactions, all that fun stuff. And my membership tab, forgot to mention that, for early release content and exclusive content um, and stuff like that. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section if you watched this like in theaters and what you really thought. And if you agree that it deserves the hate or if it doesn't deserve the hate, let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.